Well, this week has been filled with major headlines in the U.S. and around the world. Here's more in our Week in Review. The week begins in Southern California. President Trump reaches out to the rabbi of the California synagogue where a deadly shooting took place over the weekend. In a tweet today, the president said he extended his warmest condolences to Rabbi Goldstein and all of those affected by the tragedy. Also on Monday, Rosenstein out. All right, we're following breaking news out of the Department of Justice this hour where Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein has issued his resignation. Moving on to Tuesday. <laughs> Chaos in Caracas. You're taking a live picture, a live look here now at images coming to us from Caracas, where as you can see, a smoke billowing through the trees there as these uh, protesters continue to clash with members of the military who have been propping up Nicolas Maduro. Also that day, Democrat congressional leaders reach an agreement with President Trump to move forward with a $2 trillion infrastructure plan. Uh, we did come to one agreement that the agreement would be big and bold. Plus, simply put, the system is full and we are well beyond our capacity. President Trump gives the acting DHS secretary 90 days to implement new asylum application policies and campus shooting. We continue to follow developing news from the campus of the University of North Carolina in Charlotte, where at least six people have been shot. This incident happened just before 6 p.m. local time when reports came in regarding shots fired at the university's Kennedy Building. Midweek. And the Fed holds interest rates steady for the third time this year. Thursday, bar no show. Attorney General William Barr will not testify before the House Judiciary Committee today, potentially kickstarting a new legal battle. Also that day, the Lord makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. The First Lady participates in the National Day of Prayer, while President Trump reaffirms his commitment to protecting religious beliefs of Americans. And just today, we finalized new protections of conscience rights for physicians, pharmacists, nurses, teachers, students, and faith-based charities. Finally, on Friday, the death toll of New Zealand's Christchurch mosque shooting rises. Huge condolences go to the, the family um, uh, of the man that has passed away uh, and that now brings the death toll of an already uh, extraordinary act of terrorism to 51. And finally, President Trump praises strong job growth as the Labor Department reveals the U.S. added 263,000 new jobs in April. Rachel Senes, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.